What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So Yardi suggested a battle rifle for Modern Warfare 3, the Sidewinder with the conversion kit. I think we used this thing once back when the conversion kit first released and it was absolutely cooking in the tier 3 zone. Before we take a look at the build I'm using for the Sidewinder, I just quickly want to thank my boy Mitch for sponsoring this video. Whether you're interested in unlocking the MW3 weapon mastery camos, event camos, all the zombie schematics, or even just to play an easy your multiplayer lobbies, our sponsor Mitch Cactus has you covered. With over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page, they are easily the safest and most trusted boosting service provider out there. If there's anything you need in game, they got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to MitchCactus.com and be sure to use my code HYPNO for an extra 5% off. So the build we're using for the Sidewinder is as follows. We're using the Jack Thunder LMG Conversion Kit, the RB Rapid Strike Grip for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed the SL Razorhawk Laser Light for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the FTAC MSP-98 Handstop for increased recoil control, gun kick control, and movement speed, and last but not least, we're using the RB Regal Heavy Stock for a bit of kick control. Thank you again to Yardi for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the Sidewinder, I'd say it's time we head over to the Tier 3 zone and see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier three zone. As you can see, we have the Sidewinder here. Got this bad boy to pack three. And it is absolutely frying tier three zombies. This thing's insane, dude. Love how the fire rate goes up the more you shoot. Just look at that. Solid gun, man. Now, while running over here, this team right here, dude, I paid attention to it. They got all three rituals activated just by like shooting all of them. So no one else in the lobby can you know, actually do a ritual, and that's, I don't know, man, they need to do something about that, because it's like the third game in a row where this has happened. Pretty annoying for all the other people, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, we do have a bounty contract way back there. We also have the VR-11 for this run, so in theory, we could do that escort contract back here, but yeah, let's, let's try to get that bounty contract before anyone else can. This guy's got a Scorcher. We could actually request to join his squad, see if bro wants to, uh, you know, Scorch around the place for us, get a few contracts, but yeah, it's not looking like it. <laughs> All right, well, let's go grab that contract. There we go, got the bounty contract. Ooh, that Hellhound almost went through the door. Little Disciple, little Succubus is our target. There we go, let's actually loot these boxes. You never know, there might be some, some juicy loot in there usually is okay well, let's get rid of these guys first there we go there's another box here okay an extra self res i'll take it a little monica mimimsky here okay there we go fry that guy all right almost got stuck in that corner dude why is there so many zombies all of a sudden <laughs> there we go all right let's go say hello to that disciple what a weird lobby, dude. There were more people here a second ago, and now they all left the tier 3 again? I don't know, man. Super weird. Alright, let's get up here. Disciple should be... There we go. Come on, dude. Oh my god. This guy is super annoying. And we are absolutely frying him. Alright, hold on. Let's get some distance here. There we go. We'll pull this bad boy out to run a bit quicker. Have to take care of some of the normal zombies first. There we go. Yeah, this thing absolutely cooks, dude. What the hell? I mean, I knew it would be good, but this is just insane. There we go. Fry these guys quickly. Nice. Let's focus on the disciple now. Oh, we're gonna get the kill here, aren't we? Let's go. Just a few more shots. Stop his heal. Nice. And... Come on. There we go. Contract complete. Let's see what's in here. Two selfies and a whole lot of nothing else. Alright, let's actually slap on Shatter Blast. A little Mangalorian here. Dude, just look at how quickly we melted that guy. I love the sound of this gun, too. Sounds really nice. Alright, so there's another bounty contract back there. Not sure if we'll make it over there in time, because there's probably a few people with Scorchers here. But, yeah, if we can't get it, then we'll probably go for the Escort contract. 
There we go. Got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a Monica Mimimski. Let's go, Ms. Mickle. Um, rather. Uh, you can do it, LTV. Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> Crazy. All right. So this guy's going to be chilling in that little building. Right up ahead. There we go. All right. Start wall banging him. Is he not there? Wait. Have we not hit any shots? That's wild. Okay. Absolutely frying the mimic. There we go. Let's keep hitting those shots on him. Oh. Okay. Bad timing there. Bad timing there. Let's just burn the selfie. We got a whole lot of them, so it's all good. There we go. Okay. Take care of some of these boys. Nice. Hit the halfway mark on the mimic. There we go. Recoil is actually super controllable, even when the uh, buy rate increases. Uh, let's see what's in our dead wire and a raw ethereum crystal. No, thank you. All right. Let's see if there's another contract up. And there's another bounty. Um, Yeah, let's go for it. There we go, got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mega abominizzle. What's up, brother? All right, where's he spawning at? Way back there, jeez, okay. Decent spawn though. Really easy to trigger laser attacks right over at the gas station. There we go, mega's right back there. Let's drop over here on this bus. Laser's already coming in. Let's fry that guy, there we go. We'll have to take care of these zombies too. They're gonna be throwing their meat at us. Not trying to go down because of them. Oh, we're taking serious damage from that. Hold on. There we go. Take care of these boys quickly. Okay. Loop around here. Yeah, this thing is solid. Great for HVTs and great for hordes of zombies. Alright, let's go up the ladder again. Nice. Other lasers coming in. Beautiful. Just one face left. Crazy, dude. Solid damage output on this gun. Right. Nice. Should be able to get the kill here. Oh, just a few more shots. Come on. That was a port laser attack. And there we go. Easy kill, boys. Shatter blast and a mortar strike. A little Rick and Morty. Uh, yeah, nah. Not taking any of that. Solid gun, though, man. Alright, let's see if there's another bounty. No. Okay, let's quickly at the Wonder Fizz get a couple Alpercas. Some, some Alpercachinos. And, uh, then we'll hit the buy station, get a few Kazis. You know, just start setting up for that Elder Dark Ether run. Alright, no contracts anywhere, dude. Um, I guess we could go for the Escort. The problem with that is it just takes such a long time to finish. Mm, Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, there's no decent alternatives. If only a delivered cargo would spawn in right now. Dude, what? Boys, okay. I'm him. I'm him. I have to be him, right? I'm kind of him. Am I not him? I am him. Yerp. And there we go. Contraband has been delivered. Let's see what's in here. Epic tool and a raw crystal. It's crazy. Okay, there's a bounty contract up right now. Might as well take this LTV and head over there quickly. Hopefully no one else yoinks it before we get there. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed as well, you know. Nice, got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get here. And it's a mangler, a little mangalorian, a little mangledees. Alright, let's uh, take the LTV. Make our way. Ooh, this thing's about to blow up though. Hold on, hold on. We'll use our VR11 if it gets critically damaged. Let's see if we can make it up this hill. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's park this bad boy here and uh, just quickly heal her up. Nice. Alright, calm down, Mangler. Calm down. There we go. Take care of some of these normal zombies. Probably take care of that disciple in a second here as well. Dude, this thing is just insane. <laughs> I 
Brother. The amount of ammo you have is crazy, too. Well, this gun is something else. Alright, let's quickly play it up, get some more distance. Hit them criticals. Don't see his health bar right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's about to die. Alright, let's keep hitting those crits. There we go. Easy kill. Let's see what's in a large bat now. Whole lot of nothing once again. Damn, dude. Alright, is this thing stuck now? No, okay, we're good, we're good. Um, no bounty contract anywhere. There's an outlast down the hill. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? That's an easy contract right there. It doesn't take too long. So, yeah, let's go for it. Shame there's barely any zombies that spawn in for this one, to be honest. Uh, let's just try to get a nice little group together. There we go. Let's climb back up here. Alright, let's go. Dude. <laughs> this thing's just way too good. I'm having so much fun using this thing. Let's go. Hell yeah. Solid suggestion, boys. Solid suggestion. Jeez, man. What is this thing even? <laughs> Brother. This thing ain't broken. I don't know what is. Hey, yo. This thing's perfect for taking out hordes of zombies. It's just good in all situations, and you're super mobile with it, too. All right, did not mean to do that. Let's see what's in here. Elemental, yeah. Whole lot of nothing once again. Why am I not surprised? We do have a bounty contract up way back there. Uh, let's go for that. I think after this one, we'll hit the buy station, or actually, we could hit the buy station now, since there's one right up ahead. And uh, buy a few Kazis, maybe a few extra selfies, get done with this contract, and then we can go to the Dark Ether. Oh, there's a little Ether deer back here. Thank you very much. And there we go, boys. Got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a Monica Mimimsky. All right, that's going to be a very fast kill, especially with this bad boy right here. Let's go. All right, Mimic, where you at, dude? Let's get rid of these boys. Okay, there he is. Start lighting him up. Nice, nice. Did a fair amount of damage to him already. We're about to hit the halfway mark. Definitely past the halfway mark now. About a quarter of his health bar left. Should we risk it? We might go down. It's worth the risk. There we go. We got him. <laughs> Crazy, dude. I'm just having way too much fun using this, honestly. Oh, super satisfying. Just look at how quickly we're taking out this mangler, dude. What the hell? Ooh, getting- Ooh, ooh, that was some heavy lag right there, dude. Crazy. Alright, let's have a little look-see here. Okay, so, five self-revives and six Kazis. Um... You know what? I'm gonna buy one extra Casimir just because we can drop and stow one, and we can also stow the self revive and get an extra. So let's actually quickly do that. Uh, yerp. There we go. All right. Let's see if there's maybe. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We have to do this one before we go, right? By the way, we're going to this dark ether here. So the old one, the original. Alright, there we go. Got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mangler. A little mangle bees. That's alright. Let's go say hello to him. Ooh, a little mega bomb and nizzle spawned in right here. Hold on. Let's take care of him real quick. Who knows? He might drop something for us. I mean, we've gotten scorcher cases from him. We've gotten pack three crystals, legendary tools, everything. Alright, let's actually come over here and climb on top of that scaffolding thing right here. Guess the truck would work too. Yeah, should do the trick. Yes, it works. Nice. Let's try to hit those criticals from over here. There we go, that worked. Worked like a charm. Come back here, brother. There we go. Do not focus on the other guy. Focus on me, Mega. Ooh, can we get the kill here? Can we? Uh, close, close. Nice. We got it. 
crazy. Perk is that on the ground? Tombstone? We already have that. No, right? Solid gun, man. Solid gun. Alright, let's come over here. Little mangler is right inside that building. Nice. Start cooking him. Already broke his arm. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Alright, now we'll get some distance. Keep cooking him. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left now, I'm guessing. Probably almost dead. And there <laughs> Oh man, this gun's crazy good. Well, let's go, dude. No bounties anywhere? Alright, now we're going to the Dark Ether. For sure. I'll see you guys once we're by the portal. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Ether portal. Let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and we'll quickly stow our self revive so that one fills up again. And I'll see you all in the Elder Dark Ether. All right, boys. We made it to the Elder Dark Ether. So we're going to start with the Ether Extractor contract. So we're just going to pull left right here past this gas station. And we're going to run straight over to this building here. Now there's a Mega Abomination that spawns out front, he's right back there. Possibly also a Disciple somewhere around here, so what I like to do is just climb on this wall here. And from here you can jump right into the window, that way you can avoid the Mega Abomination's laser, which you guys just heard. Alright, so we're gonna quickly melee and pick up this contract, there we go. Then jump off this side of the building, just to avoid the Mega and any other HVTs that might be back there gonna run up this hill and go up the zip right here because the first extractor is right over here now we're just quickly gonna throw a casimir right there there we go don't stand on the edge for too long because manglers might shoot at you and push you off there we go that's one extractor disabled perfect all right now we're just gonna actually let's pull out the vr yeah let's do that there we go we're good Alright, so then throw Casimir at that wall. As you can see, that bounces off and lands right at the extractor. So then we can just run up the stairs and get this one disabled as well. Super easy contract, as you can see. There we go, we got it, even though the Mimic pulled us in. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna parachute over here and wait for our plates to refill. There we go. Now we'll pop Ether Shroud and get this bad boy deactivated. Don't start deactivating it immediately, because you have to wait for the Ether Shroud animation to actually finish, or it ends up bugging out on you. But there we go, contract complete. We got a dog. Okay. Call that bad boy in. We also have an extra self res in there. So let's quickly uh, take that. There we go. And of course, the dog bone recipe. Then I like to jump over to the staircase here and jump down to this green bus because this is where you find the outlast contract and just run into the corner where the PND is pinged at. Oh, that went right between his legs. <laughs> there we go. And just run in here and get this bad boy activated. Oh, we're going to go down here. Maybe no. Oh, oh, oh. We survived. Nice. Let's go. So for this place, I mean, I recommend just training the zombies and using your VR-11 from time to time just to turn them into mercenaries because they'll pretty much act as decoy grenades. As you can see, all the zombies here are focused on the mercenary instead of us, which is perfect for us. And we're just going to keep running in circles. If you ever need ammo, just pull out your real gun and fry a couple zombies. You know, run over their bodies, pick up some more ammo. It's just a really easy contract as long as you're taking your time with it and you're not rushing things. Just stay focused. If you get stuck somewhere, well, not stuck, but let's say zombies are coming through here and they're, you know, just jump down, swap over to the other side, and you should be good to go. There we go, turned another, Turn that guy as well. Could also turn some of those guys that guy that should be enough maybe oh that's a nice little horde of zombies back there <laughs> let's go all right let's shoot into that group again also back there Ooh. okay let's climb up almost done with the contract now could actually fry a little horde back there quickly with this gun 
Oh, oh, okay. We, we might have messed up there. Okay, kind of, kind of. Is our dog dead already? We did finish a contract, though, but... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing our dog's dead. All good. All right, let's see what we got in here. Another dog. We're not going to call it in yet. We'll save it in case we run out of survives, which we shouldn't. But, you know, it's always good to have an extra dog bone in your acquisition stash. Oh, that pack two crystal is looking kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, we'll leave it in there. All right, so once you finish that contract, just make your way up here. And now we're going to go back to where we finished the ether extractor contract. So remember, we climbed this ladder. And from here, we jump down. The extractor was right there. But you're going to pull right. And this is where you find the final contract we're going to do. And that's the escort. Arguably the hardest one. So just parachute over here. Normally, there's a mega abomination that shows up. There we go. Mega's right there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's quickly get that reload. And uh, we could actually refill ammo as well. Okay. So we're going to climb up this container. Let's quickly destroy one of his faces. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to climb onto this rooftop to trigger some more lasers. The reason we're killing this guy is because you don't want him around and then you start the contract because he'll do some big damage and it's annoying taking care of a mega and all the zombies while you're solo. Okay, we messed up with that throw a bit, but it's all good. We'll just quickly get the kill using our gun. That's no biggie. Let's keep lighting him up. Just a few more shots. Come on. And there we go. Let's have a disciple there. Let's quickly take care of him. Okay, we turned him. Even better. Uh, nothing special on the ground. There we go. Take care of these hellhounds. Okay. Let's get this thing activated as soon as we can. Boys, hold on. Okay, we're gonna have to pop Ether Shroud. It's crazy. Okay. Come on. Give us the prompt. Nice. Alright, now we're just gonna sit on top of the ACV and uh, pay attention to the ACV's health and get this bad boy healed as often as possible. It's already at 52%, bro. That's crazy. There we go. Also gonna turn a zombie quickly. It'll distract some of them. There we go. Nice. Let's just keep taking care of these boys. Awesome. All right, there's a disciple nearby somewhere. There he is. Okay, and we ran out of ammo. Okay, so that's kind of the issue if you're standing on top of the ACV. Um, but let's just wait here. Let's get the reload. Okay, so what we're going to do now is chuck a Casimir. We might even chuck two. There we go. To try to pull in the zombies from back there. But yeah, it's working. It's working. Okay, let's pick up some ammo here quickly. Also some plates while we're at it. Might as well. Okay, got full armor. Okay, ACB health is not looking good. There we go. Heal that bad boy again. Quickly played up. Ooh, look at a little mega abomination there. A little what's up, brother. Ooh. Okay. Let's get this bad boy healed again. We'll equip the extra Casimirs. Alright. There we go. Let's take care of this guy in front. Uh, there we go. Nice ACV still at 100%. We're just going to keep an eye out on the health. Ooh, we might go down here. Close, close. Didn't end up going down though, which is good. Alright, let's try to throw that. Ah, oh, bit too low. I'll get though. Let's light him up from back here. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to heal this bad boy now. Get our Casimir ready. We're going to pick up some ammo for the VR-11 here in a second. Just maybe throw one right here as well and equip the extras. There we go. Okay, solid. Come over to this side. Nice, got a good amount of ammo. Okay, so now we have two Megas on us. That's not good. <laughs> oh, might go down here. Just might go down. Nope. Okay, we survived. Solid, solid. 
See if there's some more ammo here. Yes, there is. I'm not sure if we got it. I think we got like one for the uh, BR. Okay. Let's keep lighting them up. BR 11's at 87%. We won't heal it yet. Okay, 77. Uh, let's heal this thing. There we go. Saw a thermite there. Perfect. That's going to help out a lot. Another laser attack. That should kill the mega. Nice, it worked. Okay, got another mega to worry about in a second. Let's just heal this thing again. Okay. Nice, another laser is coming in. We can actually hit him. There we go, got one of his faces destroyed. Starting to run a bit low on ammo. Let's chuck a deep. Oh no, dude. That Casimir was not good, but it looks like it did the trick. Kind of. We go, let's light that guy up. Quickly kill this guy. Another disciple back there. Oh, okay. Oh no. ACV health is gonna drop really low here. There we go. Healed it up again though, so we're good. Nice. Ooh, went down again? Crazy. Let's heal up and shoot the ACV immediately. There we go. Okay. Nice. Contract complete. Let's see if there's anything special in here. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Little, little golden plate. Uh, nothing else, yeah. Just a schematic. Alright, solid run. Went down a few times here at the end, but that's, that's fine. Had more than enough self revive, so we were not stressing there at all. Solid gun though, man. This Sidewinder absolutely cooks, whether you're in the Dark Aether, in the Tier 3 zone, fighting HVTs, it's just good in all situations. Super mobile too, considering it's actually a very heavy gun. But yeah, thank you for the suggestion, man. I'll have to give this thing a 10 out of 10. Easily. Had a lot of fun using this thing, and it did not let me down a single time. I mean, just look at this thing go. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.